Welcome all fighters for a better future. We all know climate change is real. We should not question that. We all know we are contributing to this change. And we all know it's happening right now. And in fact, the science has been there since the 90s. We were just not listening. Not only the young generation is asking us to listen and to do something about it, because every ton of less CO2 is a bit more future for them. I spend a lot of time outside, outdoors, in the forest. You know, the Germans have a deep emotional relationship to their forest. Hiking, biking, being outside, enjoying nature. And I can tell you, I can see the climate, I can feel the climate. It's a catastrophe. We have to do something about it. And I feel a deep sense of responsibility. I'm sure many of us feel the same. And I believe we are all in a position to change something. Not only as an individual, but also as large companies. We have the instruments, the power in our hand. And we have recently tightened our climate targets. And therefore, we will cut our own emissions down to zero already until 2025. We will become net zero along the entire value chain already by 2040. But even more important than setting goals is to get it done. The traffic on our network is growing exponentially. We will increase the energy efficiency in our networks. And on top of that, since the beginning of this year, we will only use renewable energies. We invest in highly efficient data centers, which consume around 30% less energy than conventional data centers. All newly released T-branded products are sustainably packed with recyclable material and without any single-use plastics. But we do more than just make Deutsche Telekom more sustainable. We also help our customers to become more sustainable. With our green networks and with the digitization. By using our products and services, our customers were able to save over seven times more of CO2 emission than we, Deutsche Telekom, are emitting. Think about it. The digitization is driving CO2 reductions. In the end, the climate crisis will not be solved by one individual, one company, or one country alone. And this is why I invite all of us to take more responsibility work together in fighting climate change and securing the basis for our social prosperity for a long-term perspective. Together, we can create real impact and inspire others to follow. Be shadow of the leader. And for me, this is leadership. And this is true switching green. Greetings to you all at the Green Tech Festival. My name is Vanessa Nakate, and I'm a climate activist from Uganda. I'm happy to be speaking with all of you today. In the first week of January 2019, I held my first climate strike after seeing and researching about how climate change affected the people in my country, Uganda. I went ahead to read about how it specifically affects the people in the African continent. This is when I realized that the climate crisis is the greatest threat facing humanity right now. And why is that? The climate crisis is already destroying vast parts of the African continent. This is tragic and ironic when you think about how Africa is one of the least emitters of CO2 emissions, and yet it is among the most affected by this crisis. Historically, the entire continent of Africa is responsible for only 3% of global emissions, and yet Africans are already suffering some of the most brutal impacts fueled by the climate crisis. 
that is rapidly intensifying hurricanes, floods, and withering droughts. This is more than weather. This is about the people. People have lost their lives, while countless more have lost their homes, farms, and businesses. I have one thing to say to countries, banks, corporations who continue to fund the digging up and burning of fossil fuels in Africa. We cannot eat coal and we cannot drink oil. All of us are needed to tackle this crisis. No action is too small because when we put all these actions together, we realize how much change we are able to create. I started a project that involves the installation of solar panels and eco-friendly stoves in schools. And this was to drive a transition to renewable energy, as well as to reduce on the amount of firewood that schools use in preparation of food. I can happily say that we have done installations in 11 schools. Everyone can do something. When we work together, we will be able to transform this world and make it a better place for everyone. Remember that we may be facing the same storm, but we are definitely in different boats. Some boats are sinking faster while others are burning faster. This is why we cannot afford to leave anyone behind in our fight for climate justice. Climate justice is only justice if it includes everyone. Thank you. Hello to the green tech community and participants. My switch green story starts with my youth. I was born on a farm and my passion in life is whitewater kayaking deep into nature. But my career uprooted me and drove me to live in developing countries in large urban centers. And in developing countries, I realized that energy was not always readily or reliably available. And when you spend time in those new places, you quickly realize how energy is a basic foundation of a decent life and how it is essential for everything from education to health to societal inclusion. Yet today, two billion people still do not have access to reliable energy. And that is at the heart of Schneider Purpose. Empower all to make the most of our energy and resources, bridging progress on sustainability for all. At Schneider, we research, design, create and deploy digital and electrical technologies that make our building, factories, homes, cities more efficient. These are digital technologies that will automate optimize and importantly help us to avoid wasting our energy and resources. We do this ensuring that we also lead within our own ecosystem. With over 200 plants in 100 countries around the world, we understand the complexity of making industry and environment sustainable. In our operations, We've committed to carbon neutrality by 2025 and to no net biodiversity loss by 2030. Our world is facing the biggest threat it has ever faced. We are both the first generation to know about climate change and probably the last generation who can act efficiently on it before it's too late. We have probably 10 years to change the trajectory. We have the technologies together and the expertise to make the change, all while ensuring that our world progresses to give everyone in the world, wherever they are, equal opportunities. It's a collective effort and everyone plays a part in this. Corporations, governments, individual citizens. At Schneider, we are in for the journey and we need you to be in two. Hello, my name is Sebastian Copeland. I'm a pool explorer, climate analyst and photographer. And it gives me 
great pleasure and immense pride to be part of this edition of Green Tech Festival as we reflect on the delicate relationship between humanity and our host planet. The truth is, through the course of our relatively short existence, we've mostly sought to take from the Earth as we need it, with little thought of the consequences. And why should we have? Those consequences were marginal for the greater part of our 175,000-year history. But as we know now, that is no longer the case. And in accelerated fashion, we're seeing one ecosystem after the other stressed beyond its ability to replenish. Nowhere is that more visible than in the areas that I have predominantly traveled, which is the ice. In the Arctic, a thin layer of ice is losing to the lengthening and warmer melt cycles, reducing both its extent and its thickness. On Greenland, the second largest reservoir of fresh water sitting on land, the dam has been flowing into the ocean, disrupting both sea levels and ocean currents. Those currents are critical for the regulation of temperatures as a key factor for the distribution of hydrology and therefore life. In Antarctica, a continent that I had the privilege to cross from one coast to the other, the melting of million years old ice is growing, doubling in the last five years alone. At this point, it will continue to redraw the world's map for the next centuries. The question is how much and how fast, and that has a lot to do. Whether on land, in the air or the oceans, our biodiversity is collapsing. The population of many large predators has been halved in the last 30 years alone. In the ocean, that number is 90%. While there may be more plastic in the oceans than biomass in less than 30 years. And the question we should be asking ourselves with so many systems collapsing is, are we next? This is a time of enormous disruption. Technology is challenging human labor. Populations continue to grow, as do our individual footprints. But it is also a time when scaled innovation can play a critical role in our development moving forward. With the world finally waking up to this emergency, we have a unique opportunity to rethink the future. COVID has forced a global reckoning on our populations, dictating dramatic global change. From that pain has come a clear message. We can do this. The time is now, and there is no better place than here to challenge you to be part of this change. Welcome to Green Tech. Oh,